location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Boston is a good place. I mean, it was a great place to grow up. It's good education. I mean, it's everything you would want at your fingertips. It's not too big. It's not too small. All set. All set. It's just the right size. You know, it's got it's all this neighborhood sectioned off, which, which are pretty nice. and It's a pretty good city. It's run well. Nothing more we can ask for. It's a good job. And the, the city, I grew up in it. I love it. I love policing it. There's nothing else I'd rather do than police the city of Boston because I grew up here. Got in a white uh, sweatshirt with faded blue jeans. Yeah, Peter. You're up to something over there. What do you got, the Joel. Yeah, it's Joel. Oh, man. Pull around here. Get out on foot. Listen, I'm gonna go in the alley, all right? I'll come up the, uh, the alley. Cut him off that side. Get a knife. No. Okay, light it up. Man, he had something if he came out of the house. The street. This is uh Liverpool. K to another car on Liverpool Street. I got him. I got the stuff. You did have it, right? Throw them all off. Joking? What do you want? Spit them all off. Here Spit we them go. all off. Here we go. Isn't that sweet? Out, 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 out. Drop them all off. I don't have no more. I don't have no more. Uh, Idiot. Huh? Real cute. Real cute. Real cute. What do you got? Three sixteenths cocaine. Oh, How many did you have all together? That's it. He came out of one of these two buildings. Oh, I didn't come out of the come up the car, Peter. You know, I, I had him the whole time. Because when I... That worked all good. We saw them here. They were doing a deal. We went around the car and I come out of Fooker through the alley. Peter cut them off. They both were hands in my arms here. Peter grabbed Joel and I grabbed him. He spit these up out of his throat. And one of them had three sixteenths of uh, cocaine in his mouth, and he was choking on him when we got there, so we sort of helped him get him out of his throat. They play paramedics sometimes, too, and they start swallowing this stuff. A lot of them choke on it, and they can't, uh, can't help themselves. Alpha 420 around, man. We ran into a nice pitch. The kid was choking on these. Yeah. Spit up. Joel, another kid. Again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, give me that Yeah, come on, Slippery Joel. kid. Good ones. Oh. You got pictures? <sighs> Where's, uh... Ken Leonard, dude, Joel. I was walking to the liquor store. Now, you're doing more than that over there. You're doing a little more than that. I'm serious. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, 32. You're being arrested for possession of Class B, cocaine with intent to distribute. Possession of Class B, cocaine with intent to distribute within a thousand feet of a school. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say do can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts provides an attorney for you. Do you understand your rights? Jimmy, just tell me a little bit about yourself anyway. You, you got a job, right? Yes. You got a family? Kids. Yeah. Two kids? Yeah. Boys? Yeah. How old? 
two and a half and six months. You know what you're gonna do to them by getting arrested with that much coke? Two and a half and six months. Yeah. Love your kids. Yeah. So listen, listen to me. This, this could be uh, getting your foot in the door to going to rehab or something. I was I was going to Los Angeles Island Monday. Tuesday. You were going on Tuesday yes. to rehab. And I got a point. This will maybe push it a little more. I got a point for Carlson until the next twenty first. All right. I had you up against the fence. You couldn't breathe. You? Yeah, you couldn't breathe. And when I hit your back, I and it breathe. popped out, you still couldn't breathe. You're, I could breathe that. And once it popped out, yeah. so you were choking on it. Yeah, I was choking. Because your face was blue when I turned you around. It was blue. I thought you might have choked to death there. And how are you going to get out of here, twelve? So I saved your life. You owe me. Pay attention, roll call. Tobin? Sure. Woodside? Yeah. Alpha 101? Coffee? Yes, sir. You with Maloof? It's going to be a little late. Yes, right. Alpha 201? Cardinelli? Yeah. Alpha 211? Wally? Yes. Alpha 412? Anthony? Sure. Amoroso? AK2? report that a female is passing a phony script to try to obtain some uh, controlled substance and some type of narcotics. And here we're here now. Uh, are you trying to purchase a uh, prescription? Trying to fill a prescription? No, I'm not filling. I'm supposed to pick one up. You're supposed to pick one up. Whose prescription is it? Uh, Mrs. Navarro, a neighbor. A neighbor. What's the matter? And uh, she gave you authorization to come down here and pick up her prescription? No, her daughter called me. That's been picking up. Her daughter called you. Okay, uh, we got information that the uh, prescription is phony. Yes. Well, she calls in over the phone. Okay. And we know, we've heard her name and everything, but it always checks out. Okay. She gives us the right DNA. name. DA number of the doctor, the right phone number, so okay. we fill them. But this time there was something weird about her voice and about the phone number she gave. We didn't match. So okay, what called. type of uh, control substance is it? Vicodin, um, schedule number three, can be highly abused, okay. used for um, uh, mild to moderate to severe pain. Okay, is the uh, doctor's uh, name on there that we can uh, yeah. contact? Dr. Richard, that's the DA number she gets. Okay, so uh, can we contact this guy on the phone right now? We talk to him and see if he's there. Uh, the doctor? Yeah, I can try and call. If not, we can try and page. All right, hey, that's human. sure. That sounds good. Anytime. Okay, here's your driver's license. United States Courts, State Bankruptcy Court. And where's this located? On Causeway Street. On Causeway Street? Um, we've had a woman calling in fake prescriptions under your name and your DA number, and we have investigating investigating it to have her arrested. Can you please get back to us right away? It's an emergency. Well, you're trying to pick up a prescription that's a phony prescription. But I didn't pick up anything. I want to know what I'm charged with. You're not, a, you're not under arrest. You're not under arrest. The coming down here is going to be we're, talking with you. We're... I just gave him all the information. Well, that's why I have a massage coming down here. I have a supervisor that comes down. The person that applied for this prescription gave a wrong number. I am an attorney. Am I under arrest or not? Can I leave or not? Ma'am, let me tell you something. Right now, we're making a determination where we're holding you here. We, I don't care if you're an attorney or not, all right? We're conducting a criminal investigation right now. And I can detain you until I make a determination to release you. Oh, you don't think so? You don't think so? I don't think so. Well, then you know what I'm going to do? I'm holding you here. All right? For what? For what? We're conducting a criminal investigation right now. Know? You're trying to pick up a phony prescription. I didn't know anything about any phony mm. prescription. Well, ma'am, if you're an attorney, can I see your bar card, please? Yeah. I your bar card. Not your, your license. Bar card. I haven't passed yet. I'm not passing. And you're not an attorney, ma'am. That's right. You're not an attorney, then. She came in. I had filed this under a different name in our bin so that we wouldn't be able to find it. Yeah. So Dick went looking for it and then asked me, and then we were able to get some phone calls in. The dispatcher called and said they're on their way. And we were able to go back and forth. And then um, then she was going to leave, but I told her, hold on. I said, maybe we misfiled it. We were trying to stall her. So I was looking through the files. 
our bins to see if I could find the prescription. She was waiting. And then you showed up, and I just pointed did her she, out. Did she say who she was? She asked. She said, picking up a prescription for Navarro. Picking up a prescription for Navarro. OK. It's not there. It's there. It is there. Yeah, a good look. It's parked in the parking spot. There's no kids in the car. She stated that there was two kids in the car. I told that to the officer. I have to pick them up. It's a red Honda, uh, Hyundai. This thing. We're Pretty placing quiet. you under arrest for passing a uh, phony prescription. Uh, it's against Chapter 94C uh, of the Massachusetts drug laws. Uh, they're going to have to handcuff you. That's requirement. We don't have any discretion on that, okay? You can make it as easy as possible leaving if you just let them talk yet, and then we'll get, we'll take you out as quickly as possible, okay? Mm -hmm. You put them in front of you? Whichever you decide. Okay. Right. Don't put them in front of you, okay? So I'm going to get a copy of the script on the, uh, zero copy of the script for the, uh, the Do we have a car? We know we want the script. Search the car for everything. Do it. Uh, Amy Cosatoff? Yeah. She was pretty well up on her laws in regards to knowing what she was doing. And she attempted to leave the scene saying that she was a lawyer, when in fact she is not a lawyer. She stated to us that she had two kids in the car. I actually don't have two kids in the car. I have two plates here. Uh, actually, I have two other plates here, two different numbers. In regards to the, the original number, so there's a possibility that she's a pretty good scam artist. What we're finding here is uh, okay, prescription okay. bags, some prescriptions. Uh, you know, the drugstore fill a prescription, they'll put it in a bag like this, and usually staple the receipt to it in the person's name. We've already come up with one paper, one bag like this that's in another person's name. Now we got some more bags that we're going to go through. There's no name on this bag here. But uh, looks like she does this for a living. Each script so far has not come up with the same person's name. We have seven different names that have come up. Spoke to the doctor. Um, him or his secretary never gave authorization for this, and he would never call in a prescription of this type okay. over the telephone. All right. So This is a heavy narcotic, isn't it? Yeah, heavy narcotic, similar to Percocet, codeine in the same family. This girl's good. This is one of the best I've ever seen. She's got four different license plates. She puts on the cars, different uh, locations. The bills are all different names. She's got checks with people's different names on it. And she's telling us she's a lawyer. She's got a law card. <laughs> she's pretty good. All right, we're going up to Prince Eric's Cove. We're going to execute a warrant up there. It's a one-family house. Um, the target's name isn't important right now, but the guy's a 70-year-old individual. Maybe uh, his wife up there, maybe a daughter. 20, 22 years old with a child and her living husband. Uh, we're going for cocaine. If entry is denied, when Chuck goes up there on a roof, we're going to bang the door. Chucky, Chuck, Chuck. I got it, I got it. Take the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Guys, we're in, we're in. Michael, give us a second to secure, all right? You got a son up there. That doesn't deserve to get locked up. If there's one half a gram of cocaine in this house, he's gonna get locked up, and that's not fair. Tell us where it is between us as men. As gentlemen, he stays. You're the only ones here. Did you hear what I said? If, yes. you, if you lie, he goes. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He goes. And now, is, is it worth the gamble? Because we're gonna do the yard and everything else. We're gonna be here for quite a while. So if there's anything you gotta tell us, 
Uh, we got an idea where it is. Yeah. If there's anything you got to tell us before we find it on our own, I'll give you a chance to save everybody here, and that's it. And they'll and they'll not be charged for it. He says he pretty much gave us all this stuff. I don't believe it because uh, it runs in his family. I put his son away, and his son. We caught him five times in one year dealing cocaine. You know, he says he gave it all up, but I would say there's more. The baby to a friend to take the last one. That was in the Cheerios. Some Cheerios? In the Cheerios. All right. We're going to... That's cold. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Okay. Johnny, why don't you leave that stuff, all right? We'll you know, you can pick that up later, all right? Just leave it there. I'm going to Just doing a little book uh, book in here, you know, taking some action on the phone. I get it. I think you can get it. Let me see. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, who's this? Hello. Who is it? Tony, what do you want? What do you need? Okay. Tony, who do you need the lines on? Okay, Bruins are 5-4. Celtics are uh, 97, uh, 93. <laughs> 97, 93. Well, give me the lines so I can tell them, so I'm not lying. Come on, give me some action. <laughs> Celtics may be minus. Come on, they're asking for that. Don't make a fool out of me. I'm trying to be a bookie in the worst way. What do I got to do? Huh? I know I made a mistake. Celtics are what? Uh, minus six. Minus six? All right, that sounds good. Not even good. play. <laughs> it's Wiz and Margaret's money. You get it. Huh? You get it. I hope you have no other vices. What is this, a bookie joint? Yeah. What do you need? Uh, he's uh, out. I got to take care of this. What do you need? It's Frankie. It's Frankie. Okay, okay, but he ain't gonna be back. He went to Chelsea, he ain't gonna be back for an hour. Yeah, so he says, if, if there's anything I can help you with, I, I'm taking care of shot. All right, what do you need? How old are you? Fourth race, number one. What? Seventh race, the four. Ninth race, the five. Okay, okay. You're all set. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna have to pick this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> if he wins. John, what do you got here? This is something... Huh? This is an unbelievable operation. What are you trying to get out of the hole for some reason? Now you got bills and what? Yeah, I know it, but we all have to survive. But, you know, there's a way to survive right and there's a way to survive wrong, right? Yeah. Who is that guy, right? Oh, yeah, it's just a shot distance. You want to write on him? Take Mr. O'Caddy in. Jimmy, when they leave, close all the doors, Jim. These people have a high gambling habit, and they have to maintain a steady, uh, a steady income from dope sales to pay off their gambling. Yeah, I guess so. Can you leave the door open? Yeah. Hang on, wait till the... Uh... Sergeant Josh comes out. Yeah, you can speak to him. You need to take him down to the police station. All right? You got to be fingerprinted and photographed. That'll take at least an hour. All right? Yeah. After that, he can be bailed out. Can I call? You can call. District 7. They'll give me what I need to know? Yeah, you'll have to call a bail commissioner and arrange bail. Speak to him. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can get in here. Wait, 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 wait. 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 I'm 70 years old. I feel bad for the rest of the family. You know, they got a son in jail for that. Now, now the father might be going to jail for it. It could be trafficking if we have enough. Like father, like son, right? You know, but uh, he had what was coming to him. He's been doing it for a long time. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 